doing today. Today we're going to talk about three soaps and four aftershaves. But before we get into that, we're going to drink some coffee. And today it's just regular bold coffee. Because the New Orleans Saints aren't doing too well. So I've decided to make a bold move and now I'm rooting for the Tigers. So, anyway, pretty good coffee. So, uh, you guys also might be looking going, that picture's different. Well, as you know, I moved and I decided for some different artwork. I didn't want the uh, turban hat anymore. And uh, you also might be thinking, why is this video on Rico's Corner and why do you kind of look like Rico? Well, Gerardo, aka Rico, is a pretty good looking dude and um, I thought why not I should try to start looking like that guy. So further ado, let's get into the soaps. First soap I wanted to talk about is Al's Shaving Cream and this is Bodega. It's a nice cream look there, pretty nice label. The scent is pretty nice. It's kind of got an off, something's off on it just a little. But again, scent's preferential, subjective, but I like it. So, works well. Not as slick as some soaps, but I do enjoy it. Another soap I tried today. Petal Pushers Fancies. This is Honeysuckle. And it smells like honeysuckles. Pretty awesome. I like it. Um, the other, I'll talk about an aftershave real quick here. This is Gondolier Alcohol Free. Now normally I like alcohol based aftershaves. But this is all they had left. I got this from Maggard's Razors. And I really like the scent. So I got some. And Captain's Choice Sandalwood. Everybody loves Captain's Choice. The sandalwood scent's not super strong, but this is a great aftershave. And I think you guys would really enjoy it. Now again, when I'm talking about soaps and stuff, I'm just my opinion. I'm not a reviewer. I'm just a guy who enjoys shaving, and I like to share what I love with other people. Um, the other one here is Fine aftershave and as we all know fresh vetiver is awesome sauce now why I'm showing you this one again is because there's another company called Folsom and Company that looks the bottles about the same different label about the same ingredients seems like it might have a stronger alcohol content but the scent is really strong on this and this one is Shambhala which is really nice really refreshing pretty citrusy and uh, I'm really enjoying this stuff and it's also awesome sauce so if you guys can get fine aftershave or Folsom and Company it is awesome sauce and finally Latir Vert however you say that Chris Cullen the skipper always has dopey names with his soaps but this is a wonderful soap, and if you haven't tried it, you should. I'm going to uh, lather it here with my Plissen and just see, I don't know, a couple of swirls. Yeah, those Vikings just decided if they're not going to play well, I can't root for them. So we got a nice lather here. Proto lather, get this soupy goodness on the top. Yeah, just swirl it around some more. If you have to revisit the puck, that's cool. And if you haven't checked out Gerardo's channel, Rico's Corner, you should do that. I'll put a link below. And I'll also put a link down to my channel, TSE The Shaving Evangelist. And you guys have not tried the Brush of the Gods. This is just a wonderful, wonderful brush. Super soft. Not a lot of backbone, but 
You can't lather with this thing. Something's wrong with you. And as you can see, I mean, this is just making great lather. Skipper and his dopey names makes great, great soap. Mm. Latier Vert. Look at this. Gonna make some soap mittens here for a while. I really do enjoy fondling the soap, um, especially when my wife's not around, but that's just between us. Smells really good. As you can see, this is awesome soap. So you go out there and have a great day, have a great shave. And all those haters keep on not hating. And all you shavers keep on lathering soap. See you, folks. Oh, no, I can't touch the thing.